Ten years ago this week, Corey Stringer was a 27-year-old offensive lineman for the Minnesota Vikings, coming off a Pro Bowl season. Then he died during training camp from complications of heat stroke. Since then, his widow Kelsey has worked to prevent similar tragedies, and last year she helped to start the Corey Stringer Institute at the University of Connecticut. It focuses on research and education about heat stroke and sudden death in sports. Kelsey Stringer joins us this morning in the studio. Nice to have you with us today. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. We just saw a little bit of that report from Marisol. Unfortunately, every year we hear these tragic stories. Mm -hmm. of not only heat stroke or exhaustion, but in many places, in many cases, death, uh, and oftentimes of younger athletes. What do you think has changed in the 10 years uh, since Corey's death? Um, clearly, when we see these deaths, we like to think probably not much, but um, I do feel like a lot of lives have been saved due to Corey's demise. Um, I feel like people are a little bit more mentally aware, mm -hmm. um, if you will, of the heat. Um, when Corey died, it was not a lot of discussion. It was not a lot of talk about what to do as regards to playing in the heat, but now it's come like to the forefront. So we're having a lot of dialogue about what to do and hopefully as we go forward you know we can align to be on the same page with the correct information but are you also seeing a lot of it there's so much with football coaches mm -hmm. instill this toughness with kids yeah it's just the heat get out there take it and there's yeah. been a lot of professional coaches and high school coaches college coaches that let the kids kind of go out there and do it do you said is there still a lot of that that exists out there yeah. where it's toughness over safety yeah absolutely absolutely I mean you have to understand this is a, a, a long running tradition here with football and um, of course, my purpose is not to be the antichrist of football, but, you know, I think that um, people don't really get the need for, quote unquote, just having water. That's the way they look at it. It's just it's, sometimes it shows a sign of weakness. But I think um, when people really remove the ignorance from their minds as it relates to just um, being weak and having water, that it's necessary for the body to function. Um, it's necessary to perform at your best. So um, I think and I would hope that people are changing their attitudes toward this. And that's what you're, you, part of what you're doing by starting, by starting the Institute of Courses is, is education is so important. Mm -hmm. And it's very personal, uh, not just because you lost your husband, but also your 13-year-old son is now playing football. Yeah. Which has got to be a little scary for you oh, in the summer. Yeah, it's tough. Um, he's been playing actually since he's been six years old so um, he's moved up in the ranks and I live in Atlanta and you know we're, we're suffering a heat wave as well and every year I tell you it is so hard for me as a mother because I often think um, I never really watch practice I just kind of sit in my car because it's, it's it's I almost feel like a bad mother sometimes because I'm like oh my god how could I let him play in this heat given the information that I'm privileged mm -hmm. to know you know but um, I try to take the positive side of that and because I do um, I am privileged to know this information to um, educate his coaches and educate the people that are responsible for him, the need of um, uh, breaks and being properly hydrated and you know the equipment that they wear. So um, it's bittersweet, but I like sports and I like football and Cody's a big kid and it's yeah. not too many other things he can do as it relates to sports. So, <laughs> you know, I, I no yeah, yeah, no, no, no ballet. But good that you're yeah. out there and helping yeah. educate the other parents and the coaches and, you know, yeah. it takes one person and it just, yep. it moves along. So. Yeah. And if he has right, a fraction hurts. of dad's talents, he's going to be great. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank he you does. Thank you, guys. Thanks, right. Kelsey. All right.